Hello everybody, I have my notebook for this video and in this video I'm going to be talking about what to do when you don't know what to do. So if you don't know me then my name is Frida, I'm a personal branding and product photographer. I used to run a sustainable and ethical clothing brand but I no longer do anymore and I will be uploading a video talking all about that very soon. In this video, like I said, I want to talk about what to do when you don't know what to do. I am a highly creative person, I love being creative and it is just my life. If I can't be creating and putting something out there I feel literally like I have no meaning um it's quite a problem but we live with it we roll um, and I wanted to talk about that time when you don't know what to do so maybe you have time on your hands and you have no idea what to do with it but you want to create something you're feeling empty inside I know how that feels or maybe you are overwhelmed and there is so much you want to do there's so many techniques say if you're an artist there's so many techniques and paintings and drawings and styles you want to try but you don't know where to start and I just wanted in this video to kind of give some tips and make sure that you don't feel alone and all creatives do go through this even if you know a creative who always has ideas and always looks like they are putting out some really great content then don't be fooled we all go through this and the amount of podcasts and youtubers and people that i have listened to they all say the exact same thing obviously social media is just a highlight of our life it's not our actual life First of all, you might not know what to do because you're overwhelmed with ideas and you don't know where to start or you might not know what to do because you simply have no idea and your head is empty. It feels like it's empty anyway, it's pretty awful and I know how it feels. I want to give some tips on both of those. So firstly, if you have no ideas and you literally don't know what to do but you know that you want to start something, you want to create something, your heart, your inside is telling you, look, I need more, I need to do something, I need to struggle, I need a challenge, I need something but I have no idea what that is, then my suggestion is to 100% go for a walk, get outside in nature. I know you probably hear this a lot but it is so true, walk. Go without your phone, maybe go with a notebook and a pen, but walk, even sit down, sit on a rock and write down some ideas, write down a mind map about your life. When I was struggling whether I wanted to leave university or not, what I did is I made this huge mind map on a huge piece of paper and I just wrote down everything I enjoyed in life. Everything I enjoyed, everything I wanted to try, everything I wanted to do and looking at those things, university just didn't align with what I wanted to do. So that was a really Really great task in order for me to make a decision but if you literally have no ideas go for a walk get out in nature take some notes if you want to but this might not be the best option for you you might just have to go out with nothing and just walk and take in the surroundings you have no idea how much inspiration we can actually get from nature and next i do actually want you to write and by write i mean journal i mean write about what's going on in your life right now write about how you are feeling write about what you are grateful for just write about events that are happening in life because usually journaling just helps to keep us grounded and being grounded is so so key especially when you're figuring out what to do and you're trying to get your ideas flowing having a journal and having you know all those thoughts down on paper will really really help so if you have no idea sometimes the problem isn't taking in lots of information and trying to listen to all these things because I listen to podcasts an awful lot and I love watching YouTube as well but sometimes I can get an overload and that leads me to having no inspiration to create anything so you need to make sure that you know whether you've had an overload or you're actually lacking information so my next one is going to be read and watch people who you are inspired by but this is only if you know that you aren't completely overwhelmed by sources and social media and books and things like that because I know it's easy to do that so you need to find out whether am I just 
overloaded with information right now or do I need information? Do I need more information in me um, in order to get some ideas together? Do I need to listen to inspirational people or do I simply need to shut everything down? Ask yourself. Then my fourth tip is to just create anything. Create anything. If there's something you have been thinking about, it's been in the back of your mind, maybe you are, for instance, you're a photographer and you've been thinking about this painting that you saw and you're like, oh, I just want to paint, but I can't paint. I don't know how to paint. Just paint, even if it looks like shit. <laughs> just do it, just get it out of your system because as a creative, as soon as you start creating, you know that you're not gonna want to stop. Like, you know, it's a disease, I know. I mean, don't lie. If you get into that flow state, it is the best feeling ever. So my fourth tip, after you have done all those steps, just create something, even if it looks like shit just do it. So those are my four, four tips on what to do if you simply have no ideas and you are completely blanked out. But also I just want to make you realize that it might be because you need a break. It might be because you literally need to take in no more information and you need a break. If you take one whole day to yourself, it will feel like the end of the world. I know it will feel like you are weak and meaningless, but you are not. You don't understand how powerful a whole day to yourself taking in no information can be. I really want to like suggest that you try that also, is to just take a day to yourself and not think about much really, almost like meditation and then you'll let your mind just run free. Before I bore you, I'm just gonna tell you a few um, tips on what to do if you are literally overwhelmed with ideas and you have no time and you want to create all these things. Then a few, I was going through this the other week and it was wonderful. It was insane. I had so many ideas and what I did is I made sure to write everything down, write everything down and keep it together if you can so that it's easy to find. But please just make sure you write every single idea down bring a notepad with you bring your phone with you bring your laptop write it all down and keep it all in one place and do make sure that you are creating in your free time so if you do work part-time and you have a little bit of free time to create then make sure in that time you are actually creating and you are actually implementing your ideas because if you are overwhelmed with what to do overwhelmed with ideas then it might be because you don't have a certain significant style and you need to explore and you need to try out all these different things in order to really figure out what you truly truly love and if that is the case then please please make the time to just create something I make sure that I do is I'm a photographer so I want to try out literally every single genre of photography so that I can really really understand that branding and product is for me that portraiture is actually for me I've done a wedding and no way no way <laughs> um, so yeah that can like cross off the list and um, but yeah if you go through every style or every genre of what you are creating then you will soon figure out what you truly want to specialize in so yeah I'm gonna end this video here because I have literally been talking for over 10 minutes now but this is a true like problem that I know us creatives face it's what to do when you don't know what to do and there are times when you can literally feel so helpless and so uncreative but you need to be putting something out there for your audience and I do understand that pain and um, so I really hope that these tips help and another thing is just take time to yourself like honestly you and yourself are there for life take time with them take time and yeah you will figure it out if you need any more tips or have any questions then please comment below and make sure to subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy it i'm really loving it so i do hope that you yeah enjoy these videos let me know what you want to see next as well i am open to suggestions bye people